Welcome to part four of The Godfather 2, and in this episode, we are going to be putting a hit out on some made men, but first we need favors to do that. And also, by getting these favors, we will end up getting the requirements down, needed to off these made men for good. Yeah, you saw the tutorial video in episode three. Now, the thing that the tutorial video doesn't under doesn't tell you is how these conditions are met. Some of those favors would include, as I mentioned in part three, bombing your own businesses, if not bombing other things, sabotaging businesses, including your own, uh, burglary, which I don't at the moment have a safe cracker, but it also includes, um, Beatdowns and killings, which that does not need a special skill for. So let's go on ahead and talk to the guy with the key. I saw you. Look like you might need some help. How are you at leaning on somebody? There's a guy I know who needs to be put in his place. What do you say? Yeah. I love how Dominic hesitated at first. But the hesitations won't be nearly as bad. Anyway, um, crack a window and get some air? we're going to be heading over to the beatdown area. Or should I say, some the over there. marker where you need to complete the favor. Sometimes they change, and sometimes... Yeah, they do change because of the fact that the beatdown favors and the killing favors end up being, um, moving targets. So, all we need to do is just use unarmed and melee combat to beat this guy down, and that will complete the favor. <laughs> Bitch! <laughs> there we go, favor completed. And why am I using him as cover? I don't know. Now that we've got the kill condition for the made man, we can actually look into how we're gonna wipe that guy out. So all we need to do is just go into Don's view, go into the family of Carmine Rosado, and you'll notice that every new family member kill condition has a key right next to that uh, mob family's name. So bear that in mind. So all we need to do now is go straight to that made man and put him out of his misery. And according this could to, lead to war. Uh, That's all right. It's gotta happen every now and then. Made man's uh, the condition, blood. we're gonna have to choke him out. That's right. Dominic the Raging Bull Corleone will have to choke a bitch. We know some things and about to make Mike sure said. my made so man go. doesn't this screw way. up, I'm gonna have them sitting right here. Because sometimes these missions you could do on your own, others it would be in your best interest to take some made men with you because of the fact that sometimes these men will be guarded. That would be especially true for the Capos and also the underbosses. And God forbid, the Consigliere. So let's choke this bitch out. Yep. Dying, dying, dead. Ah, poor Franklin. He never saw it coming. Oh wait, he did. And the funny part is, He's a gambler, so he didn't bet on me coming to strangle the life out of him. Ha! Okay, that was a terrible joke. Snake eyes. Okay, I'll stop now. But these are some of the uh, backstories for all of uh, Carmine Rosado's crew. So, yeah. That, like I said before, it's only the random mooks that I kill, not the actual capos and mate men and underbosses that I have to worry about giving backstories to, because those guys are the important guys. They're risking their lives for the family by running into moving. Dominic. You heard anything from him? And, uh, whoa, wait, wait, hold on. That guy's got a key. Hey, you. Let me talk you to you. Take you. us on, on you. Himself. Good work hey, back hey, there. No, no, not you, doctor. The guy behind me. Guy behind me. What's on your mind? You need a favor? This must be my lucky day. There's a bit of larceny I need handled. You got sticky fingers? Sure. 
That's gonna need a safe tell me where we're going next. And we're gonna have to Can get one a little bit. Oh, there's another one. Hold on, hold on. Stop, stop, stop. We're gonna have to talk to that guy. Damn alarm clock of doom. Anyway, come here, you. Come here. Something seems to matter. You need help? Indeed I do. How do you feel about wrecking a joint? Sounds like fun, don't it? Yeah. Wow, without even a second thought. Oh, there's another one! If you need a favor, I'm listening. I'll be straight with you. I'm asking you to commit a crime, but it's nothing big, just stealing. Think you can overlook the rules for a few minutes and help me? Yes. As I said, very quick to the draw. I'm actually early. And as I also stated, there will be some uh, favors that will be requiring the use of certain made men. Like, for instance, burglary favors, which I have two of, which will be needing a safe cracker. Oh, we'll be getting that safe cracker eventually. But for right now, we're going to be doing a sabotage just so we can get a made man for our crew. Also, this will probably be the last time that there will not be any subs for the uh, Godfather. Because I thought there wasn't. I was not actually paying attention to the audio. But uh, there is subs in this. I just didn't get to the audio uh, options. And now, Carmine is calling us. Yeah, this phone call would be Carmine Rosado, and he is trying to get a truce. Should have thought about that before you hit my businesses, you son of a bitch. Now I'm going to get a favor to get intel on a mate man so I can hit him. Alright. Let's just waltz right in and start finding out where, oh where is our bar. Because if I find the bar, I'm going to break everything. Oh wait, I know what the bar is. And yeah, we just passed up a made man over here. We're Next not going to need his the expertise alarm for now. Don't go back for seconds to oh! By the way, there's another favor, and I don't think we'll need to get any more. We only need four, because we've already killed one of the made men. It's a fight! This, right here, will get us another mate man condition. Fantastic. And wait, they're running the roads, wearing no clothes. They don't call them the streak. <laughs> I'm going to hell for that one. Oh god, she just disappeared. <laughs> Holy shit. They all ran out the door. <laughs> that one topless woman who just ran out just <laughs> disappeared. That's fucking hilarious. Oh, new condition. This is for Clyde Lando. He has by far the most annoying condition because you have to pretty much line up your car and run him down. Yeah, he's in an area that is surrounded by boxes and debris and they need you to run him down. And there's armed guards there. That is stupid. Uh, let's try to get in there without being shot at. That's not gonna help. It's not gonna happen, but oh god, I can't see him. Damn it! Watch out. Come on, man! Hit the bastard! Oh god! They're shooting me! That's the one thing I kind of hate about this uh, game. You can't shoot back, but you can let your crew shoot. But the problem is, I don't want him shot. I want to run him. Oh, God damn it. Get out of the car. Oh, God damn it. <sighs> well, there goes some of my money. Fantastic. That's my second trip to the goddamn hospital. How can this possibly get any worse? <laughs> I always you know, wanted get the one hell out of the taxi. I'm gonna hit him with this. Honestly, I should have picked the truck to hit him with. The 
fact this this asshole shot me through the windows is bad enough. Oh, and by the way, if I had a bruiser, I would have intimidated the witness. Or at least took him out, one of the two. Or her out. Because they're, they're, they're equal opportunity witnesses. But anyway, I'm going to try to hit this asshole one last time. Hey, come back here! This asshole sidestepped! Oh, you son of a bitch! Don't sidestep, you motherfucker! I'm gonna hit you, and I'm gonna run you over! Oh my god! Run him down! Run him Oh, you gotta be kidding me, man! Hit him! Oh, and he turned the corner! Of course! The car can't fit there, and now this car's gonna be shot up! Uh, it may look like I'm making this harder than what it seems, but trust me, it was just terrible. He was hiding behind cover, and I can't hit him from there. See? That's why this is annoying. Let's get the hell out of here. Cause I, oh, God, the cops are here. And they killed him! Oh, son of a bitch! The goddamn police killed him! And if a cop actually kills either your maid men, the opposition's maid men, or you, it's technically them being arrested. But unlike you, who will just respond at the police station, those guys are inactive for a certain amount of time. Unless you actually pay the make bell skill for all of your maid men, they are inactive and you're gonna have to wait for them to come out of jail. Huh. <sighs> we'll just have to flee from the cops because I don't want to be caught in that crap. And we're just gonna have to wait until after this guy comes out of jail because he will come out of jail. And when he does, when he does, I'm gonna kill him. <sighs> that was just absolute fail. Fucking cops, seriously. Uh, let's just go on ahead and answer the phone. That will progress plot a little bit. Hello. Is this Dominic? Yeah, who's this? Carmine Rosado. I got Carmine. Look, I'm sorry about the attack. Truth is, I can't always control my men. You better learn to straighten them out. I know, I know. Look, Dominic, I want a truce. Let's talk peace, okay? Okay, talk. Not now, not over the phone. Meet me at Richie's Tavern. We can talk Didn't then. Expect that. Why do I get a terrible sense of deja vu? Just, just asking, why? Oh, and it's over here that I actually finally decide to turn on the subtitles. But yeah, why in the hell do I get a horrible case of deja vu? When dealing with Carmine Rosado. <sighs> Let, let's just go over there and see what the hell he has up his sleeve. Honestly, Roger that. It's not it like couldn't be any worse than failing French. to knock off one of his maid men. Right. No, I believe him. He's weak. He's got nowhere <sighs> to go. A truce makes sense. And while. In some cases, Dominic may be right. He is weak. Uh, there is the point. Oh yeah, he is in jail, as you can see here. And while he only got four made, made three made men as of now, I only have two. That will change after this mission, though. So let's go over to Richie's bar and let me assure you, I still am getting a sense of deja vu, and it's not very good. <sighs> well, look who we found. I, I don't know, I just don't trust Carmine. I mean, he's a stupid fuck, but... Someone let these assholes I just off the seriously leash. don't trust him. Dominic! You were supposed to be here already. I couldn't help it. Cabby dropped me off on the wrong corner. Well, get in. Buongiorno, gentlemen. What's this? It's a lucky scene for our truce. Richie, 
Get us some drinks. I don't like the see no Carmine. I take that as an insult. I'm sorry. It's our way. We're all really happy about your decision. About the peace. You're not gonna regret it. Mm-hmm. Hey, wh where's our drinks? You can't make a truce without a toast, huh? <laughs> Michael Corleone says so. Oh. Get his head in. A cop, what the fuck? Hey, Rich, if you open or closed? Carmine, no! No, not here! Keep off! I knew it! I freaking knew it! This was all a setup by Tony and Carmine Rubato. It's basically Tony, because Carmine is not that smart. As a matter of fact, he has paid actors that we are killing right now to be a part of this crew. Yeah, paid actors. They aren't actually being paid enough. I mean, hell, they even do their own stunts and death animations. See? But that's not the point, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to try to escape from Johnny Law. We have to find our way to our apartment. But there's something else that bugs me. There's another... There's another reason for me to believe that Frank is also responsible for this, too. Oh, by the way, best execution ever. Absolutely the best execution, the best execution in this game. Hands down. Anyway, the reason why I feel that Frank is responsible for this as well, or has a part in this, let alone in the Carmine's rise to power, because of the fact that Frank came in late to a meeting. If any mobster, movie, or television show tells me one thing, you don't show up late to a sit-down unless you are doing something you don't have any business doing. So with that said, let's just shoot up all these cops here and try to get our way out of this area. Because all we need to do is make it to our apartment and jump through the window. Alright, we're almost there. Let's just kill off the cops. That stands in my way. Honestly, I should have switched to the damn street sweeper. That would have made things a hell of a lot easier. Even though I do like the Dillinger, the street sweeper would have just been one shot, one kill. It made things a lot easier and a lot faster. But unfortunately, we got more cops on the way. And not to mention, I end up clumsily missing with the goddamn Dillinger and having to reload! They caught me while I was freaking reloading. God damn it. Okay, that's it. I want blood. And I want a turf. So, to make this shit easier on me, I'm going to get my turf. No, no, screw that. I'm going to get blood, and I'm going to get a sacrifice. Come here. Hold on, Richie. I'm coming for you. Don't you worry. I'm coming for you, pal. And that's just one less crew member to deal with. And if there's one thing I hate about the online, it's ladder stuff. Jesus Christ. Did you see that? Every time I come to a ladder, someone always shoots me in the head. It's a pain in the ass to deal with. And now, for Richie's weakness. Being held over a ledge. So let's like just milk this there. guy for what it's worth. Because he needs to pay tribute to not only Luca, but also Frank. Luca says hello. This place, huh? They're doing a shitty job. You deserve better. Capiche? Okay, I'll pay. You just gotta promise to leave me alone. And I just acquired another turf under my belt. And you would think that if, me, if I employed some soldiers, that they would actually help me get through this level, right? Right? You'd be dead wrong. 
because not a single one of these soldiers are going to help me against the cops. They're just going to stay there and do absolutely nothing. So, with that said, I'm going to have to fight my way through this entire area. And a camera can be a real pain in the ass, too. Fucking cops. Hey, hey, no. Shoot the cops. You see, your boss is in danger. These guys are killing me. Why aren't you? Hey, hey, where's my made men? Why aren't they protecting me? Ah, there they are. I should just sit by and wait until my health restores. Alright. We got cops. There should be one right here. Oh god, I'm reloading again! Damn it! <sighs> Alright, let's try this one last time. This time with a more powerful gun. There we go. One shot, one kill. And that's all it should have took. Which is why I'm thinking, why didn't I use the knife the first time? It would have made my life a hell of a lot easier. Boom! One shot, one kill. And that's all it needed. Just a little bit further. We're almost there. Alright! We're home free! Let's jump through the window! And after repeated failures... Gee, just dear God. Dear God. I am glad to be safe. So, with that said, ladies and gentlemen, I will see you guys in the next part. We're going to have to report to Michael exactly what the hell just happened. Dominic. Michael? I have to be brief. Meet me at your compound. I'll see you soon. Yeah, we're just going to have to report on what happened at the Corleone compound. So, with that said, this is RFP Man 985 I will see you guys in the next episode when we actually start the Carleone Inquisition. Oh yes. All we need is for Michael to give us the okay and a new made man. See you guys next time.